Hi Aquarius, welcome to your reading. This is going to be for mid-April and out a couple of weeks. It is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If this one doesn't resonate, definitely check out those other placements. It is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everyone who watches. So we're going to get into your recent past, your current energy in the near future, and then we'll take a look at what's going on with you and your person or whoever's on your mind. If you are returning, welcome back. If you are new, welcome. I hope you'll stay. I am available for personal readings. If you'd like one of those, the information's in the description box below or in the about section of my channel. All right, let's see what's going on with you guys. For some of you, it, it feels like somebody might have cut off communication or seems to be holding back with communication. Let's see. In the recent past, we have the Seven of Wands with the Devil. So... There's some kind of internal battle here. You may feel a little bit on the defensive, especially up against people who are bringing things towards you that feel a little bit heavy or, um, in a sense, toxic. You could also feel like somebody's using you as a scapegoat at work. Um, the death is right below that, meaning something's about to seriously change. If you felt like you've had to defend yourself a lot, especially when it comes to your work environment, just know that something's about to shift. I just heard let someone hang themselves. So you're not going to have to do anything if you've been dealing with this um, in your work environment. Now, I'm not picking up relationship vibes from that. Doesn't mean that there isn't something going on there. Maybe you found that there's, um, you could be dealing with a Scorpio, you could find, or a Capricorn, that there's a little bit of uncertainty or there could just be a lot of really intense passion between the two of you but you constantly feel like you have to keep your guard up with this person i also do feel like there's some kind of transformation that's happening and this person could be kicking that transformation off for you so in the current energy we have the magician with the strength card strength is right in the middle which is a good sign so i just heard vision boards some of you could be really starting to clearly set your intentions and there's this newfound feeling of I have the strength to do this I know I can I know if I set my mind to something that I can create the change that I want it doesn't always have to be that the world falls out from underneath you in order to to have things shift and change now when the universe gets involved if we're resisting some kind of change which is what's happening over here then yes, it can be a little uncomfortable, but I think you've realized that. So you being in this mode with the magician of each area of my life is truly in my control. Sometimes things can be out of our control, but in this case, I'm going to say with the strength card, you've got um, a good handle on it. So if there's courage that needs to be had or worked up in order to get through this, I, th I see you doing that. I just see that they're I can spit these words out. I don't know what it is. I'm a little tongue-tied today. It just feels like you've got it together. All right. So in the near future, the Nine of Cups with the Nine of Pentacles, you're not going to let anything and anyone, including a work situation, create, um, I'm just seeing a wobbling. So you're not going to allow them to create a, a discomfort, a, an imbalance, anything in your life. So if these people had the idea with the Three of Pentacles in reverse that they have power over you in some way, they're sadly mistaken. The Nine of Cups with the Nine of Pentacles and then the Three of Pentacles. This is you standing in between things that I think other people are unhappy with and they may be trying to blame you or project things onto you and they just can't shake you and they don't like it. So just be aware of that energy it's not going to happen to every single person, but I just feel like no matter what, what hasn't fulfilled you in the past, you let breeze by you now. It doesn't sit with you the way that it may have. You could have been dealing with somebody in the past that was also putting you in third party situations. We've all been through it. It's something that pops up a lot in these readings. You could feel like you just couldn't get things together. Or you couldn't find clarity around it, but it's not going to shake you. So your stability will always be there, and I think you know that, and that's why you don't let things get you too far off kilter. At least you won't for the next couple of months. So the Page of Wands in reverse. Let's see what this is about. The Ten of Cups. Again, this is a very strong energy of not focusing, not paying attention to, not giving energy to things that don't bring you happiness. 
if you've dealt with a lot of very immature energies in the past when it comes to relationships, or um, even if you had an ex that was like this, maybe you were married, some of you could have children, and you realize that this just wasn't going to go anywhere because this person wasn't evolving, I can see, and there you go, it's a perfect scenario, you saying, okay, I'm going to take the kids, the kid, or if you don't have any, myself and my dog, and I'm going to find happiness. I'm just not going to continue to let things shake me or create problems. And that kind of gave you a spark with the fool. It's like it puts you in a different type of energy. Like you're just not afraid to take chances anymore. And maybe in the past there might have been some fear and you're like, nope, I've mustered up in this current energy enough of this courage to go and take a chance because I just can't hang on to these types of energies anymore. This is a lot of spiritual awakening stuff. And then the four of cups comes up right after that. So you wanting to take a leap of faith doesn't mean that you're going to accept anything less than everything that you desire, especially with emotional relationships. doesn't matter who it's with, whether it's with a partner or somebody else. I think you've realized that you've waited a really long time to, especially if you've cleared your life and gone through a massive transformation, the death and rebirth process, then in, waiting is not a problem anymore because you realize it's worth waiting for. If something is going to be good in your life, it doesn't always come at the snap of a finger. So I think that realization has come to you. You had to make some tough decisions. Um, the Knight of Wands is in the energy of someone whose energy is around you. Remember, this is collective kind of energy. So it's going to be hard to tell if every one of you is dealing with this. But for those of you that have mustered up the strength to get away from something that just wasn't making you happy, the Knight of Wands is an indication that something new is going to be coming towards you. Um, time frames, it could be in the next couple of months. If there's something that needs to be cleared from your life, most likely spirit won't bring that energy to you right away because it's going to give you time. Now, for those of you that are in a current situation, um, you could be still feeling like you're not sure where that stands. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and clarify with the Seven of Wands and the Devil. I just feel like at times over the next couple of weeks, you're going to feel like people are coming at you sideways, like every different direction. And it usually has nothing to do with you specifically. It's most often, unless you've really screwed up, which I don't think you have, most often this is people projecting all of their own insecurities, problems, and issues onto you. And it just creates toxicity, which I feel like you've learned how to deal with. Seven of Wands with the devil. We have temperance. See, that's overcoming a lot of that stuff. It's just like, it can't touch me now. This is like floating in the clouds saying, it's cool. I'm patient. I'm here. I'm going to let these things happen and just be good right where I am. You could be dealing with Sagittarius as well. All right. So with the devil and the death card, we have the five of wands in reverse. This is about learning lessons when it's in the upright. Yes, it can be about fighting and drama, but you're just not about that. So you're not giving this the energy that these other people desire. I can see you just stepping back and going, no, I'm not playing that game again. I've been through that. The magician, the strength. We have the nine of pentacles. Here you go again. This is your energy. It's like, no, I'm just going to stand here with my bird on my hand and my pentacles at my feet. You guys can go ahead and create that chaos all around me. I'm just not having it. I'm not doing it. I'm over here, you know, making vision boards and manifesting and, you know, finding more strength for myself. So do as you will. The Leo um, energy there, and then we have, well, with the strength card, and then the tower in reverse, the three of swords. Again, releasing and healing anything that had created some kind of pain or mental, um, I don't want to say it's an insecurity, it just feels like mental anguish at times, that's being released from you. With the tower in reverse, you're just not about letting things explode, you just kind of take care of them when they need to be taken care of. The nine of cups with the nine of pentacles the two of swords. So in the future, there is going to be a choice that needs to be made. So yes, you may go through a little bit of a, a, a point where you feel a little bit confused. Could be about a person. If it's this person that you're not 100% sure is there for you. Um, it could be about the job. If you feel like people are coming at you, 
That could be an indication from the universe that it's time to make some kind of a shift. So yes, there may be a choice that pops up in the near future. And then the Nine of Pentacles with the Three of Pentacles in reverse is the King of Pentacles. That tells me that if you do choose to step away from, let's say, the work situation, I feel like you're going to have a new boss that is much more stable, much more focused. Or this could just be a shift within the company where you feel like, okay, I can be the boss of this. Maybe they're promoting you to a boss situation so you don't have to deal with um, the people below you anymore. There won't be as much drama. You'll kind of be in charge of yourself and your own work and that won't be a problem and I also feel like there's a very supportive boss there this could also be a partnership remember I said the knight of wands for those of you that might decide you want to leave something behind if you do there's another energy that's not only passionate but much more stable that wants to come into your life masculine or feminine doesn't matter all right so I'm going to clear this and we will get into the person that's on your mind so think about them for just a moment all right, without picking them up, yeah. The me the blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Tongue tied today, I swear. The magician. So this is where your focus is. In each area of your life, it's about finding balance. He's got his arm up like in success. Like I will conquer this no matter what, come hell or high water. I'm not letting anything or anyone stand in my way. And that's what it feels like your energy is right now. All right, so let's see what's going on with your person. All right, so your person's energy is the Ace of Cups. I think you already feel this. If if you've had some kind of thought that this person doesn't really want something uh, moving forward, they're not giving into it emotionally, the Eight of Swords in reverse, I don't think this is someone who's stuck necessarily, but they're not in the same type of mode that you are. So they're not really manifesting the same exact way. Um, let me see what else we've got. Yeah, the, the communication could be sly. I saw the Page of Swords before we even started the reading. So somebody's either holding back communication and being a little bit immature or playing games and you feel like the energy is toxic. Your energy is the Emperor. This is where it makes you question yourself. And I think you realize here comes the Devil and the Emperor in reverse. It's like, it's not worth it if I can't keep a hold of things. And it may at times make you feel like, wow, it kind of, it's disempowering. I don't like that energy. The devil here says you recognize what it is. The seven of swords, you don't want to go through something where somebody could be lying. Um, it could be somebody from your past, somebody you've known for a long time, or you have a desire to wait to see if this person's going to come in and apologize for their behavior. And again, here comes the strength. So the cards are repeating themselves, and this is a third deck that I'm using. So that means that the energy is very clear for you. Um, I'm going to see what the outcome is going to be for you guys, because this is pretty intense. There we go. Scorpio energy. It feels like things are going to blow up or already have blown up in this. Let's see. What? The Roman Angels say, and then I'll get a few more cards. See what the outcome is going to be. You deserve love. You are lovable. This may have you questioning at times if because you've had these experiences or this person is like this, you're like, okay, I'm really done. I don't want to do this again. They're trying to tell you it is safe for you to love. Open your heart and give to give and receive the highest energy of all. There may be a question about that. Not for everybody, but you may be saying, well, shit, here goes another situation. How many times do I have to go through this before I find a good one? Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Absolutely. With the emperor showing up in reverse, let your friends help you ask for and accept support, excuse me, from others. And then wedding, the situation involves marriage. For some of you, yes, this could have been a marriage that's coming apart and communication is now shut off. And a part of you may be thinking, I want this person to come back. There's a lot of passion there or there's something around wanting them to apologize for some bad behavior. I just think they're emotionally unavailable. Even if they've tried to show emotion, it doesn't feel like they're on the same page with you. Let's see. 
Seven of Wands, mm, a little bit of a vulnerable nature. Uh, communication, okay. So there may be something that they want to say to you, but they haven't made a decision about it yet. Your energy, the fool not wanting to take a chance or look like a fool, the Knight of Cups following the things that make you really happy, but your back is turned to this person. And then the Ten of Swords. So part of you is just saying, fuck it, I'm done. Um, so if they try to communicate with you and they haven't made a choice about that yet, then... You may be open to it, you may not be, but I think a part of you is just wanting to focus on healing from that. Let's see what the Lover's Oracle say. says. All right, this card wants to pop up. Beware of what you're projecting for the qualities you admire in one another or qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. So this is trying to teach you something about your own behavior it doesn't mean that it has to be totally negative, but sometimes we don't realize that we also have the same behaviors as other people, and it's a, it's a pill, trust me, to swallow. I've been there. So sometimes we have to recognize that it really is that we do things just as much as somebody else does. It's just spirit trying to show you. It's part of your evolving. It says, wait, don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. And then soulmate, your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. So for those of you that are trying to get your wrap your brain around getting out of this and finding somebody else, there will be someone. I think they're all soulmates. Everybody can say what they think or feel. I think everyone that crosses your path is meant to be there energetically for some reason. But a soulmate to most people means someone that you really connect deeply with. And I think that's coming for you after a very valuable, difficult lesson. Surrender. At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. There you go. They are speaking today. All right. Let's see. The last couple of messages that we get from the wisdom of the oracle. What do we have for Aquarius? So mending, there's a lot of mending, but mending has been coming out for so many of these relationships. Every single time one is not positive, the mending card comes out. So there's something about mending yourself. It doesn't necessarily mean mending the relationship. It can be just being at peace with where things are and healing uh, you, putting you back together. So you could be 52, you could be born on the 7th or July, it's going to be significant where changes start to happen and you feel a little bit better. 36, come to the edge, this is an end. So they're asking you to take that leap just like the fool and just go with it. Try to deal with your feelings the best way you can. Don't rush it. If you have to heal first, great. Maybe you want to wait until July until you open yourself up to a new energy. Whenever you feel it's healthiest for you, nines are going to be significant. And there you go. There's that soulmate card again. So what you're looking for, it feels like, is somebody that you can mate with for life. <laughs> How cute is that? It doesn't mean that there has to be marriage. It just means that you want somebody you can really share this life with. And I, that's what they're trying to tell you is coming for you beyond and after this difficult situation closes out. So this is, you could be 41 or this reduces to a five. So you could be born on the fifth of the month. And then we have blessed. So the next relationship that comes into your life, even if you've released this a long time ago, is going to be something that is truly blessed. The description of this is about a balanced 2-2, two -two, really loving, very abundant relationship. So this is a feeling I think you're going to realize you can have. All right, so you could be 22. And then look at this, happy, happy. So you have all three of the best cards when it comes to a union, a relationship. You may have thought that this person was going to be that. I don't pick that up. So for those of you that do want to mend this, for very few of you, there could be an end of a cycle in the relationship and you can work things out because you feel like this is your soulmate. It's the only route you want to go. That's free will. I certainly would not tell you not to if that's what you feel. Um, but for those of you that are ready to close this chapter out and move on, the next one is going to be the one that you feel most blessed by. Sorry, I just shook you guys. Okay, those were your messages. Thank you, Aquarius, so, so much for all of your likes, shares, comments, and subscribes. 
If you would like a personal, that information is in the description box below or in the about section of my channel. I hope you have an amazing month. I send you so much love and big hugs. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.